What we um, have worked on and what I've presented here is um, a platform for transparent automatic uh, genre classification. Um, what we were interested in is how journalism discourse has um, evolved over time, especially from like more opinion-based to fact center and the distribution of genre tells us something about that. So by doing automatic genre classification, we can tell how it has evolved over time. And moreover, we wanted to enable humanities scholars to make an informed decision on which tools and which algorithms to use to do that kind of task. So we built a platform that uh, enables humanities scholars to build uh, pipelines and compare them to each other to um, see which one is the best and which one you trust most um, to perform those kind of tasks. Being on this conference showed me more than anything that the network is so important and as a young researcher to be connected to that network and see all the opportunities that are there and the people that are working on things that are similar uh, as you are. So I think getting young researchers to get connected to the network, like with the poster sessions, like with the uh, consultancy, with um, more seniors that we've done in the past days, I think that is really the number one thing. In the consultancy, I got the opportunity to talk to someone that's more senior in the digital humanities or in the clothing community. Um, and so I could just send a bit about my PhD and I would get connected to someone who's like probably in the same uh, area as I am to get advice on questions I had, on uh, tools that I could use, on basically anything. I had my consultancy with uh, Mika Turonen, so we talked about well, the, the setup was you just send like a brief summary of what you're doing and but Miko actually emailed me saying oh send me like a fuller description of your research he really looked at that he looked at the timeline he gave me advice not only kind of on the more technical side of things but also on how to set up your PhD I'm in my like first year so he really thought with me on um, what what good advice could you have at the start of your PhD independent of digital humanities actually, but also on uh, time management, especially with these kind of big projects and ambitious projects that in digital humanities are always there. So it was absolutely amazing.